All right, we're going to get started. Yeah, freezes up sometimes. Don't try and hopefully we won't have any issues like we did last time. Okay. Let's go ahead and start part two of Treasure of the Incas. And last time we stopped, uh, we made a trap for the person that's waiting for a map from Eugene. So let's go back and talk to them about that. Did you get anything else, Eugene? Yes, sir, Mr. Whitaker. It turns out that my meeting with Miss Hiller was most helpful. She gave me this journal, this journal, this journal, this journal. It was my mother's. Oh, you read it? Not entirely. It's written in code. Okay, that Why wasn't would your supposed mother to happen, write it in code? My considered speculation is that there are people who would like the information in here, and she wanted to hide it. Andrea's last name is Hiller. Andrea was my mother's roommate in college. Miss Hiller collects ancient artifacts. There are four people my mother told me to be aware of. Samantha Mikos was a greedy rival of my parents. Francisco Valdez knows something you know, about really, the lost treasure. The artwork on my this mother is gave really me his awesome. location in Peru if I ever wanted to contact really great. him. But there is more information in the Kipu journal that I have not been able to decode. Artwork. I still need to use your scanner to scan more pages. Definitely. Nice work, Eugene. Do you have any information, Connie? Samantha Mikos may not have been as good of an archaeologist as your parents, Eugene, but she definitely made a name for herself after your parents disappeared. She was named Archaeologist of the Year four out of the eight years after your parents were gone. But now she owns an antiquity store in Peru. Why is she doing that? She lost the funding for her research. I guess she had to do something to make a living. Anything else? That's it for me. Thanks. Well, I'm afraid I didn't get anything myself, but I did make something in the inventor's corner that could help us. Yay, inventor's Whoever corner. Whoever sent you that message, Eugene, is I expecting was right. to find a map in the Campbell College I remember library. If that, this may be our map was, that leads us sure. to We've got a few suspects. Who do you think did it, Wit? I don't think it? we have enough information yet. Why don't we get don't this camera set up in the locker and see if it'll tell us and anything. Don't let your imagination aye, aye, be carried away with you. Thanks. I'm going to try to find some more info on Francisco Valdez, since Eugene's mom seemed to think he knew something about the lost Incan treasure. Good. And can I look at the photo you took at Andrea's house? I'd like to see what kinds of artifacts she's collecting. Certainly. Alright, let's play as Wit. You know, up there looks like a rocket or spearhead or something up there. Alright, we're gonna scan this. I've scanned Eugene's picture of Andrea's artifacts into my artifact sorting software. Now let's see how it works. Let's see if this thing works. That, you could have said that, Wit. I'm supposed to group the artifacts that look similar into vertical columns by sliding the rows back and forth and pushing the artifacts up and down into empty spaces. Once they're completely sorted, the software will identify what cultures they're from. Actually, there's a really simple solution to this. There's a few different ways you can do it, but you can hit reset. And yeah, that's the easiest one. So most of them are already set up there. If I'm not mistaken, that music that's playing is from a uh, That light means I've got armor. those artifacts sorted properly. Now for the rest of them. Let's see. That's on the one left, so we can go up. That's it. I've done it. So that one is Incan in origin and must have come from the lost Incan treasure. Connie and Eugene need to hear about this. All right, let's play as Connie. Poor Connie, she just gets stuck on the computer. Who has Wit and Eugene's more on um, okay. their expertise? Okay, I need information on Francisco Valdez. Search history is getting longer and longer. Let's see. 
Wow. He lives in the jungle? Let's see. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. There we go. Okay. Weird. Light bulb. I wonder if the legend is true. All right, let's play as Eugene. Hey, look, there's Campbell College. I think it's the first picture we've ever seen of Campbell College. 14. This is it. Now for the test. Mr. Whitaker, I've placed the box into the locker. Are you ready for the test? Yes. Now the camera should take a picture well, as a small soon computer as the locker door is open. Go ahead and try it. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. Well, the pictures are coming Jazz to you just hands. fine. Let's reset the timer on the camera so that it takes a picture automatically every few minutes or so. Then come on back as soon as you can. That room could be dangerous. Definitely. I'll be there post haste. All right, I'll set the delay to five minutes between pictures. That should be plenty. Could it be? I should finish scanning the rest of these Kipu journal pages yes. to see what other information More my knots. mother has for us. Loading the decoding software. A very obvious pun would be, if you don't like this and you find it difficult, this will drive you nuts. <laughs> okay, that was bad, but I couldn't resist. All right. Thankfully, there's not many as many to do this time. And this is the last time we have to decode any more than journal. Carlton Friedman is our partner. All right. I know most of the music from this game was um, from the radio dramas. I think, I don't know if there's any made specially for this one. But if anybody's watching and can tell what uh, episode that's from, I'd really appreciate it. I think it's Twilight Zone episode. Part of it sounds like, but part of it sounds like me a action adventure episode, maybe. We do the research to find the dig sites, and he supervises the digs. All right, last one. Let's see. Pardon me, is my phone vibrating? The elusive purple. You don't see that in this one very often. Don't you just hate it when it only fills in one letter? There we go. That one fills in more than one. So many of those things that I said it was supposed to be Amanda up there. It's in Dre, I believe. This is 
That's it. Andrea is a trusted friend you should seek out. All right. Nice work with our package, Eugene. Thanks, Mr. Whitaker. I hope the pictures are usable. Connie, were you able to find out anything about Francisco Valdez? Only that no one knows much about him. It's rumored that he's the head of the Valdez family, and that they live in the jungle, scaring people away from the treasure. Other than that, nothing. Oh. Why would your mother tell you about him, Eugene? I haven't a proverbial clue. It seems the more information we get, the more questions we have. Were you able to find out anything about all those artifacts that Miss Hiller has? One of the vases definitely appears to be of Incan origin. If my parents indeed sent her that treasure, it means the rumors could be true about them finding the treasure and leaving with it. Well, don't get ahead of yourself, Eugene. We still need to investigate again. some more. I did a little more work on the Kipu Journal, Mr. Whitaker. Great, Eugene. What do you have for us? Carlton Friedman was the full name of my parents' partner. My mother considered Andrea a trusted friend. Thanks, Eugene. Connie? Carlton Friedman. Need info. I'm all over it. Thanks, Connie. We need to check the camera to see if anyone's taken off with the box yet. How are you going to see the pictures from here? They'll be transferred to our computer screen. What will they think of next? Look at that, Eugene. Five pictures have already been taken. Someone took the proverbial bait. Yeah, this definitely looks like a Mac. Who? I can't see anything. Well, look closely. That's the inside of the locker. Impossible. The camera was activated, but the locker door was still closed. It looks like the camera's being moved toward the back wall of the locker. It's a false wall. Exactly. They took the box through the back of the locker. Wow. We're really working with professionals here. Let's look at the next one. What in the world is that? Wait, I see. It's a car door. They placed the box in the passenger seat of their car. Oh, yeah. The box is facing the passenger door. Precisely. It's a long seat. All right, let's go to the next one. Still the car door. Which means the ride in the car must have taken more than five minutes. Check the next one, Wit. Uh, we're not in the car anymore. It looks like the Does side that of a house. Familiar? One moment, please. Since there were two pictures taken of the car at five minute intervals, then the destination must have been less than 15 minutes from the college. At an average of 25 miles an hour, that would put the house at 4.9 to 7.9 miles away look. from the college. That's probably still an odyssey. Or the outskirts of Connellsville. Connellsville, that's it. I recognize that house. It's Andrea's. Andrea's? She's behind this? But she said she was your mother's friend. And why would she give you the journal? I have to say, I'm at a bit of a loss. Let's check the last picture. Uh-oh. Busted. Uh, in more ways than one. She broke her camera, Mr. Whitaker. That's okay, Eugene. That was our best portable 3.2 megahertz transmitter. Look out, Andrea. Now you've got Eugene mad. <laughs> I think we should pay Andrea a visit. The poor Connie doesn't get to go. The front door's open. Now let's be careful. We don't know if this woman is dangerous. Huh. What is it? An itinerary for a flight to Lima, Peru. Lima? She's going for the treasure! Possibly. It seems odd that she would just happen to drop this piece of paper right here. And why would she leave her front door wide open if she was leaving for a long trip? Exactly. Hello? Mr. Whitaker, the Incan vase the big was shelf. right there on the shelf. Are you sure? Absolutely. And it's the only one missing. What's going on here? Back to Connie. Let's see if I can find out anything about Carlton Friedman. Wow. So Carlton wow. was known for his hot headedness and in. flights of exaggeration. Doesn't seem like something for a graduate of GSA to be known for. Makes me think he might have made up some of his stories about the Meltzners. Fake news! Let's see... Wow!
That took her a long so if time. Samantha Meekos worked with reader. the Meltzners, that means she probably knows Carlton Friedman. Eugene, why don't you review the latest clues we've discovered related to Andrea? My pleasure, Mr. Whitaker. Our package was delivered to Andrea's house. Andrea appears to have left in a hurry for Peru. The Incan artifact was missing from Andrea's collection. I think that's everything so far, Mr. Whitaker. Thank you, Eugene. Connie, did you find anything interesting about Mr. Friedman? Here are the clues I entered into the datacom. Carlton believed the Meltzners escaped in the middle of the night with the treasure. Carlton Friedman is an expert geologist from Geneva, Switzerland. Carlton is a graduate of the Geneva School of Archaeology. Friedman was known for his hot-headedness and flights of exaggeration. Friedman was known throughout archaeological circles as a good geologist, but a second-rate historian. This Friedman is starting to sound pretty suspicious. That sounds like a couple of people may have a motive for wanting the treasure. So what do we do now? Uh, looks like our best move is to follow Andrea and head to Peru. But something isn't connecting. Andrea didn't acquire any new information from us. We simply gave her an empty box. What would make her leave now? Well, I'm still not convinced she left of her own free will. You think someone took her? Maybe. But that's enough reason to think we shouldn't waste any more time. Let's go. Maybe we'll get to do some sightseeing while we're gym? down there. Miss Kendall, <laughs> need I remind you of the purpose of this trip? I mean, we can go sightseeing after we capture the bad guy. I'm so glad you have your priorities straight. Look, we capture the bad guy by four. Maybe we can do some touristy things before dark. That's all I'm saying. Look, the police station is right next to our hotel. We should stop in there and see if they can help us. Uh, hello, I was wondering if you could help us with something. What's that? We're looking for a map. Or a person with a map. Or an Incan artifact. Maybe both. They've all arrived from the United States. Maybe. Uh, we're not positive. I don't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> Do you know of anyone who is involved with the unearthing of the Incan treasure? Everybody and their brothers are involved with unearthing the Incan treasure. We got so many tourists and visitors here, it's ridiculous. Do you know of any experts in the area? Oh, sure. We got some archaeologists and such around here. Who? Samantha Mikos owns an antiquity shop uh -huh. nearby. There's a geologist named Carlton Friedman who comes around every so uh -huh. often, always claiming something's been stolen from him. Carlton? Could you direct us to them? Sure. Samantha's store is just down this road. Carlton has an office north of here. Good. Thanks for all your help. Where should we go first? Well, I'm thinking we should split up. Why? Andrea could be in danger. We need to find her as soon as we can. I agree. Connie, you go to Samantha's store. Oh, sure. Send the girl shopping. <laughs> Connie, I'm sending you there because it's probably the safest place of the three. Just see if you can find Samantha. Eugene, you take your mother's map and see if you can find Francisco. I'll go to Carlton's office and keep an eye out for Andrea. Come back to the hotel as soon as you're done. We'll meet there. Good plan. Let's go. Be careful. You know, Connie shouldn't complain because she's been stuck on the computer all this time. She finally gets to do something. So let's go play as Connie. What a great place. I have to come back here and get some stuff before we leave. Good afternoon. May I help you with something? Yes. Is this the shop that Samantha Mikos owns? That's right. Is she here? Oh, I'm afraid not. When will she be back? Oh, she didn't say. Maybe I'll come back later with my friends. Oh, how about a postcard? Aren't they beautiful? Fine, I'll get a postcard. Oh, this one looks interesting. One of our most popular sellers. Legend has it that hidden in that pattern is the map to the lost treasure of the Incas. Really? Wow! I've got to show this to my friends. Yeah, that's like major clue. Like major obvious. Hmm, quite the out of the way spot. Uh, may I help you? Uh, yes, uh, does a Mr. Francisco Valdez live here? Si. May I speak with him? Oh, lo siento. You just missed him. He went down that path an hour or so ago. Was he alone? No, he was following three others. Into the jungle? That's right. Ooh. Do you know who the three others were? 
Sí, señorita Miko was one. Uh -huh. I've seen the man who was with them, pero I don't know his name. And there was another woman that I'd never seen before. She looked like a tourist. Thank you, ma'am. You've been most helpful. Hmm, the plot thickens. Now this must be the place. Huh, ah, quite the collector. Hello, is anybody home? What's this? Be back later, Carlton. And for some reason, the magnifying glass is not lighting up here. Guess I'll head back to the hotel to see if Eugene and Connie have had any better luck. Wait, you don't believe in luck. I'm glad to see everyone made it back safely. Eugene, did you find Francisco Valdez? I found his house and spoke with his housekeeper. Francisco followed Samantha Mikos and two other people into the jungle. Who were they? The housekeeper didn't know, but she did say that one of them looked like a tourist. Ah. My personal guess is that the tourist type was Andrea. Maybe. But then who is the third person? I can't say for sure, but Carlton Friedman was not at his office when I went looking for him. You think it was Carlton? Possibly. I went to his office, and he left a handwritten note saying he'd be back later. So he is behind all of this. At least Carlton is involved somehow. But what about Samantha Mikos? What about her? Did you find something? I only spoke with her sales clerk. Samantha wasn't there. She was very persistent about selling me something. I finally gave in and bought this postcard. That pattern looks familiar. That's one of the patterns that comes up in the Meltzner logic puzzle. In fact, it looks precisely the right size. Uh, let me try something. It fits. It looks like a map of a jungle. Can you unscramble the map? I believe so. That's a thick postcard there. And we finally get to use this thing. Well, you can use it earlier in the game, but um, it's a distraction. It wasn't necessary for the game to be completed. Ooh, what was What's that? What's that? I don't know. It's never done that before. Hmm. Dear Eugene, since you are reading this, you must have figured out how to use the MLP and have, one way or another, followed our clues that led you to the first jungle map. Congratulations, son. We knew you could do it. <sighs> to find the location of the lost Incan treasure, you must drive to the jungle at the outskirts of town. Then use the map you have just unscrambled to find your way through the jungle. You will find other maps hidden in the jungle that will ultimately lead you to the location okay, of the music. lost Incan treasure. Do not try to find your way through the jungle until you have found the map for that section of the jungle. Good luck, son. I wonder if this is the same path that Francisco took into the jungle. Which means Samantha and Carlton may already be on their way. I believe we should make haste. Yes, let's go. All right, let's stay close together now. Wow, what a beautiful forest. Actually, Miss Kendall, the correct terminology is tropical rainforest, also known as jungle. Your father's note said that we'd find more maps in the jungle. Let's start looking. And sorry, but that's it for today. Sorry, but we've already gone on for a little while longer. We only have a little bit left in the game, so the next time we'll be doing this, we'll be doing part three, and we'll see who done it, and see how all this ends, and see what kind of new puzzles await us. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.